Hi, my name is John. Some of you may know me, some of you may not. I wanted to give you a little science lesson along with a little story to go with it. So the science lesson involves a very magical time in every boy's life called puberty. Basically on a chemical level, here's how it works. So around the age of 12 to 13, the hypothalamus of a little adolescent boy, which is a part of the brain that's located right above the brain stem, well, this little part of his brain will start to pulse and release a special little hormone called GnRH, gonadotropin releasing hormone. Now what GnRH is, it's the hormone that's linked to the onset of puberty. It commences this little activity by communicating with the endocrine system, which is this amazing system of glands in the body that regulates the body through hormones. So the way the hypothalamus communicates with this endocrine system is through the pituitary gland. Now for this lesson, the pituitary gland is very important. The pituitary gland is this neat, pea-sized little gland located right beneath the hypothalamus. So really to sum that all up, what happens is the hypothalamus of a little boy around the age of 12 to 13 talks to the endocrine system through the pituitary gland to release GnRH. And that starts puberty. So enough with the Bill Nye impersonation, here's the story to go along with it. If you hadn't noticed yet, I am a boy. Therefore, around the age of 13, it was assumed that I would hit puberty, start smelling in areas that I didn't know I'd start smelling in, start growing hair in areas I didn't know I was going to start growing hair in, grow a few inches, and drop a few octaves in the boys' choir. However, that is not how my story went. I did not hit puberty at the age of 13. I didn't hit puberty at the age of 14, nor did I hit puberty at the age of 15, 16, or even 17. In fact, to tell the truth, at the age of 17, I was barely over 100 pounds, five foot three, high squeaky voice, no body hair, and I looked like I was 10. So at this point, my parents and I looked at each other and we went, something's wrong here. And not to say that my parents didn't believe that I could have been a late bloomer, but they just wanted to make sure there was nothing wrong, so they took me to the doctors. Turns out they were right in getting me checked out. Because come to find out after plenty of examinations and lots of blood work, my doctor came to me with a chart that showed how testosterone levels are supposed to be at certain ages in a man's life. This chart went from 0 to 1,000, and the average boy at my age of 17 would usually range between 300 and 800. Suffice to say, I was not at 800. In fact, I wasn't even at 300. My testosterone levels were at 5. Not 500, 5. So after learning that, clearly something was not right. But in the name of keeping these video shorts and my love of a good cliffhanger, I'm going to stop there for the moment. I will pick up on Wednesday where I will conclude my harrowing tale. And that's all I have to say about that. For now.